Get ready to experience three days of piracy as Fort Zachary Taylor transforms into a British stronghold to defend her shores against an invasion of pirates. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Fort Taylor pirate invasion will be taking place at the end of the month. Ladies, thank you for being on the show with me this morning. Yeah. Oh, hey, good morning. You ladies look great, let me just tell you that. Thank <laughs> you very much. All right. Which one of you wants to start by telling our viewers what this Fort Taylor pirate invasion is? Mate. All right, I'll start yeah. telling them. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Fort Zachary Taylor has every year, this is the eighth year running now, a uh, pirate invasion. It's a historic reenactment, an encampment in the fortress walls and we celebrate three years of stepping back into the golden age of piracy. Uh, a band of redcoats, if you will, British <laughs> troops and, and allies, pirate hunters and such, are holding our fort, and we intend to take it back. So, beginning November 30th, the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday following of that. Okay, this, well this sounds exciting, ladies. <laughs> it sounds a little scary, a little intimidating. <laughs> Maybe. If you are in red. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys do do an in, uh, reenactment. Mm -hmm. the, entire, the entire event is like stepping back into time. We, have, uh, we actually get to live there at the fort for three days as if we were living in the past. Mm -hmm. um, a couple more amenities, if you will. But guests will be able to see how life took place in the 1600s, 1700s, um, meaning we have a, a number of living history demonstrations, which are fascinating. Um, it's, it, we feel it's very important to present something um, to the public that interprets the fort's history. And although Fort Zach was built much later for the Civil War, and there was no actual fort there in place during the time of the 1600s, uh, it's very much as if it had been. Uh, the mm -hmm. Florida Straits was a, a, a pathway for ships and seafarers uh, coming through around the coast of Florida and then up and everywhere, actually. Um, so there were definitely uh, plenty of, perhaps piratic, but definitely seafaring folks coming through the area. Mm -hmm. um, what folks will learn down at the fort are uh, things like rope tying, knot tying, sea shanties, um, some of the, the weaponry that was used, the gun crew <laughs> drills, the musket drills. We have battles every day at, at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We have um, lessons for the kiddies. Sword lessons, if you will, for the kiddies, that's fun. <laughs> um, you know, a little bit of everything, actually. Mm -hmm. Cooking demonstrations, of that, mm -hmm. of everything. So you guys really make the history then come to life during this three-day period. Definitely. Will you both be dressed up for this? I... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Does everybody who comes have to be, be dressed up, or no, come as you are? No, you don't have to come dressed mm -hmm. up. Absolutely not. But you are most welcome to. That's okay. that's you that's know. That's the fun of it, it's right? It's actually quite fun to get into character and to actually get involved in what we're doing down there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. Now, have you both been doing this for the past couple of years? Because you said this has been going on for a while. How long have you been doing it? This is actually my second year. Your second year. Yes. And what about second you? Mad May just joined us pretty much. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for at least six years. I've been organizing it for two, three-ish Mm -hmm. uh, with, with various mates. This year, um, it's the Friends of Fort Taylor that's hosting the event. Mm -hmm. um, th this is actually the second year that the, the Friends of Fort Taylor have officially hosted it. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the Friends of Fort Taylor? Okay. Friends of Fort Taylor is a group mm -hmm. of citizens that absolutely love Fort Zach and Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park. Um, we are a group of folks who volunteer our time and our efforts to do fundraisers for matching grants for the restoration of the fort, we do interpretation activities, anything from building the butterfly gardens or volunteering with beach cleanups, things like that. And we have some main events throughout the year, such as the haunted fort that just occurred, the Fort Taylor pirate invasion, which is coming up. Um, we're very supportive of Civil War Days that the park puts on in February. Mm -hmm. We are basically an, uh, a group of citizens that, um, that acts to help out in the efforts of the park to maintain Fort Zach. You guys do a great job of that. Thank you. Now I have to ask you, since you both have attended this before, what's it like camping out there for three days? It's amazing. It's amazing? It okay. is absolutely amazing. And that is definitely why I'm doing it again this year, mm -hmm. because the experience is just, you can't even describe it. It's, mm -hmm. it's its own thing, and yeah, 
<laughs> the first word that comes to my head is, is magical. It's uh, absolutely yes. magical. It is a completely natural setting. Um, overnight, there's you know there's no city lights. There's mm -hmm. no you know light noise pollution. It really it lends itself to being in in a past time period frame frame of mind and everything that mm -hmm. goes with it. Um, our, our reenactment events are open to the public, mm -hmm. um, so anybody who's a registered reenactor could uh, participate. Uh, we actually have a wait list this year. We're allowed mm -hmm. to have 100 folks um, in our encampment mm -hmm. for the pirate invasion, and we'll have at least 200 participating this year, but only 100 that'll be actually staying overnight in the fort. So. Well, it sounds very exciting. Exactly. Ladies, thank you for being on this thank morning you. and telling thank our you. viewers all about it. If they want more information, they can contact the information on the bottom of the screen. I, I love the office again. The website, Maybe so. next time you'll have to let me dress up too. <laughs> Would you like to wear me hot? <laughs> Maybe <Again>. later. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for me today, everyone. Thank you for yes. tuning in this morning, and join me again tomorrow at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.